ansia lo espera. Cuando llega la noche, se pone ready para darte su noche. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning back in. Today I will be answering BBL questions. I want to say thank you for all the support that I have received throughout this long and painful journey. Thank you to the people that reached out to me via Instagram and wished me a speedy recovery. I didn't think my journey would receive so much love and feedback. And I'm truly blessed and happy to have made it to the flat side with no complications and that I am safe and healthy. Thank you, Jesus. Now let's get to it. <laughs> so we have an audience today. This is Lucky and this is Luna. I promise they will be quiet. All right, so the first question. Oh, and by the way, I'm sitting on a boppy pillow. I'm not sitting on my butt yet. I can't sit on my butt yet. So my butt is literally in this circle. And does it hurt? Mm. Like the sides hurt, like where the hips are. But I'm trying not to put so much pressure. And that's why I'm like leaning forward because I'm putting all the pressure in my legs. Did you feel pain right away when you woke up? Or did the pain gradually come as time passed? So the first day when I woke up, like I said in my second video, I woke up terrified. I woke up crying. Um, I woke up shaking. I felt pain in my butt. I did feel pain in my butt because I was sitting on it. Like I woke up and I was sitting on my butt. So I had to get up and lay down on my stomach. My butt burned i do remember that my butt was burning it was like a funny feeling i what i i think i did i wake up did i wake up with meds in my system already i don't remember i i don't even know honestly because i didn't feel as much pain only i only felt pain when i had to get up so when I woke up, I didn't feel much pain. It was just my butt. And then it was more of me being scared because once I got up, I saw all the fluid come down and just fall on the floor. And like I said before, it looked like blood. So it was just, it was a scary situation. It was a scary situation. Second question. How difficult is it to poop since you can't really sit on your butt? So I didn't poop until uh, like the third day. And I was really scared because I didn't want to poop. But everybody in the recovery home was saying that we were supposed to be taking stool softener pills, which I did bring. I did buy a bottle of that because... Supposedly you wake up with all this medication in your system that you end up being constipated. So what I did is on the third day, I drink coffee. When I drink coffee, my stomach like, I went to the bathroom. I ran to the bathroom. I had to take my faja, my phones, my boards, everything off. And I had to. To freaking poop and it was my first time pooping so i didn't know how to do it because for one i was not going to have any type of nurse help me poop i wasn't gonna have no type of nurse hold my hand so that i could squat down like that's just embarrassing and it's disgusting and what the recovery home had was uh foams and like the the pool foams that you play around with when you chicken fight whatever they're called and they had cut it up they put two of those foams together and they taped it and you open the toilet and you place them in the front of the toilet and you sit on it so basically all the all your weight is on your on your legs 
on your thighs. And that's how I pooped. And let me tell you, it was nasty. It was really nasty. And I'm sorry that I have to be talking about this, but let me tell you the truth. I sat down while well, I squatted. And like, since when you get your butt done, your butt is very, very hard. Like my butt was a freaking rock. When I would touch it, like the first day that I touched it, I was scared because I'm like, is this how my is this how my butt is going to feel later on when I'm good? And it just started to scare me because that just felt disgusting. So when I was pooping, it's like my cheeks were just stuck together and like the poop was just trying to come out. You know, I was not talking about that, but if you ever get a BBL, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about because it's so, <sighs> it was, it was really hard. It was really hard, but I did it by myself and the way to clean, you can't even go behind and wipe. You have to go front and under and like, make sure you reach far down as possible so you could clean very well. So I used toilet paper, I used wipes. It was a fuck. It was a mess. third question. I just had a baby. What if I just want lipo? How are you feeling after? How did it go? Now, everyone is different. The pain that I had, another person might not have it. I had a BBL, so I had lipo 360, and I had fat transferred to my hips and to my butt. I can definitely tell you that what hurt me the most and still hurts and has took me through hell is the lipo. Before I even made my appointment, I really feared the pain. So I was going to change going from a BBL and I was going to change it to just getting a lipo because I really just cared about my stomach. Like that's the only thing I really cared about. So I thought about it and um, I called, I called the facility, but the thing is that if I want to change anything on my contract, I had to pay 1,500 just to change anything. Was it 1,500 or a thousand? I had to pay a thousand, I believe. How much was it? So when I called, I asked and um, it was, Four months right after I had placed my, my surgery date. And the lipo was, you know, it was different pricing because prices change every month. And they go up, they don't go down. So when I called, the lipo was more money than the BBL that I had already scheduled for because I had already closed my contract to getting a BBL. So for me to change from a BBL to a lipo... I had to pay more so i left it as that i what i didn't want to get a bbl anymore but i was not going to pay just to change my contract to sticking to lipo and i only wanted to do that because i didn't want to go through the pain because i just i was being a puss about it but the lipo did hurt because the stomach stomach my stomach is sensitive like right now I have, I'm wearing a bra under, but um, I have my faja and I, today I made it to my last row here, but I have a little waist belt so that I could compress more because I'm not wearing my foams right now. Honestly, the, those things are so annoying, but I got to get back to it tomorrow. But yeah, so the stomach, stomach is what hurt me the most, my stomach, and it still hurts when, when you sleep your back it's like you have this like i was i was used to sleeping on my back but somehow with this surgery i can't like i can't take it anymore i have to sleep on top of three pillows and those are like these big ones right here and then i have to sleep with two pillows on my head so i'm like mind you i don't even sleep with pillows but for this i had to were you scared? Did you have second thoughts? Honestly, 
this whole six months i was happy let me take that back i scheduled my appointment in july word got around and the news hit that my doctor had a death in august from that point i was scared i was terrified i wanted to cancel my whole appointment i wanted to get my money back i was over it i'm like you know what like this is not for me so i really like i was overthinking it and like hearing that your doctor has had a death because of a bbl it's like you don't i don't think you would want to continue and honestly like like i said if i wanted to cancel if i wanted to change doctor if i wanted to change anything i had to pay a ton of money to do that so i there were nights where i would overthink about it and oh i can't breathe because of this faha all right so there were nights where i would think about it and i would just be like erica what are you doing like the lord brought you into this world you look fine stick with what you have but then my other side was like go through with it like stop being a punk stop overthinking get it over with so there was times where i would cry and i would hit up my girls and i'd be like yo like i don't want to do this like my doctor dead just had a death and it wasn't the doctor's fault from what i remember i think it was something with the patient being sick or lying about her health something like that number five what made you decision on getting a bbl done uh i just i wanted to take care of my back fat my back fat was number one and my front my stomach it was horrible i had arm lipo done too you can't really tell i'm still swollen from my arms and i'm still wearing a faja so here we are how long do you have to go without sitting on your butt so usually they say three months but if you really want to take care of your fat in your butt i would say hold on hold off the whole sitting part like use your bbl pillow use your bobby pillow try to not just try to not sit too much on your butt because you don't want to like flatten it not flatten it but you know let the fat settle for a couple months not just three months i don't think that's enough so for me i am planning to sit until four to five months where did you get your stuff that you needed like your shapewear so my shapewear i didn't get any shapewear before surgery i got shapewear at the facility I woke up in my stage one faja and then once I felt better, which was um, my second week, I went to Pretty Girl Curves and I got my stage two faja. I did get my ab boards. I did buy my ab boards. One thing, actually, I'll bring that up later on. How long after did you fly back? so i stayed two weeks in miami i did not want to fly back after the seven days because you have to stay in miami for seven days just to make sure that everything's okay with you i didn't feel comfortable flying back too soon like i knew i was going to be in pain and i was so i came back after two weeks which i felt i felt better it i mean it sucked but it felt better and honestly if you're thinking about getting a bbl and flying out first class is not going to do anything for you every seat is the same thing because you're not going to be sitting on your butt you're going to be putting all your weight in your legs so don't go and buy a first class seat just because you have surgery it's not really a big difference at all what you would want maybe is um leg space that you need because if you want to kneel down for half the trip uh you you can because it will 
it will hurt to be putting all the weight in your legs. When did you feel your pain going away? So I just made a month. I just made a month on Wednesday. Today's Friday. My pain go away. I feel like my pain went away maybe at three weeks. And I still have pain. Like it's just my stomach though. It's not really it's not really much my butt and my hips. That's like from one to ten, maybe like a three. And it really depends. If somebody touches it, if I bump into something. Oh well, look at that. <laughs> if I bumped into something, getting in my car and sitting on my boppy pillow it kind of hurts because this part touches my hips a lot so that that does hurt but i did wait three weeks i think at three weeks i was i felt a lot better where i felt comfortable to actually go out uh now i just have pain but it's just it's just a lipo honestly it's just my stomach Especially when I'm sleeping, especially when I wake up. And let me not even talk about the massages because that's just another subject that I do not want to really get into. How long do you have to wait to have sex? So I can say that everybody's different. It really depends how horny you are, I guess. But for you to have sex i i i maybe at two weeks like get into doggy position and just have the guy doing the work and it has to be like very slow gentle you can't be going ham because if your butt is getting smacked too much it can cause a dent the fat is nowhere near settled so you have to be very, 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 very careful. What facility did you go to in Miami? So the facility that I went to is called Mia Aesthetics, Miami Aesthetics. Who was your doctor? So my doctor was Dr. Gray. Dr. Gray, the way I ended up finding him at Mia Aesthetics, I took a look at every doctor. I took a look at Dr. Mejia. I took a look at Dr. Alvarez, Dr. Fasuzi. I took a look at all the doctors in that facility. The way I ended up with Dr. Gray was because I saw that he was doing a lot of girls that had my height and had my weight. So I felt comfortable with him because everything that I was seeing with those girls is what I wanted. So based on me, with my weight, I was 146 and my height is 4'11". I was like, you know what, like he's for me because one doctor that I really wanted was Dr. Mejio, but he was so, so, so expensive and I'm like, yikes, not today. Yeah, so Dr. Gray was definitely the one. I was honestly so happy with him. He made me feel so comfortable. He really did a great job. How much was your BBL? All right, so my BBL was um, my BBL. Okay, so how much was my BBL? My BBL, just my lipo and the fat transfer was $5,000. Then I added my arms. So each arm ended up being 600 more, which was a total of 1,200. The BBL and the arms and the package at the surgery place came up to 6450 okay? The recovery home was $900, right? The extra Faja that I bought, the extra two Fajas that I bought at Mi Aesthetics came up to 
170. That was a stage one faja and another arm faja. My, my hotel for the second week came up to $650. My flight came up to 150. My Uber Eats that I spent from Monday to Friday, Saturday to Friday for my second week came up to about 120, maybe even more because I'm just making up that I spent like $40 max because that's what it usually came up to. Uh, I paid for seven massages at the recovery home, which came up to be $460. Then I went to Pretty Girl Curves and I bought a stage two faja and another on faja, which came up to $220. So just with that, I spent a total of $10,000 because there's other expenses added to this and I'm still... Uh, paying for massages each massage is about $80 and I'm getting two a week you're supposed to be getting two to three massages per week for I guess for a month I guess you could get your massages for a month but for me I might be getting them for two months because I really want my lady to shape me up everything deals with massages so total of 10,000 because I'm still paying for massages. I'm still having different expenses for fajas and everything that I need now. So you want a BBL? Save up $10,000. And let me just say that I never thought that I was going to spend $10,000 because I really thought at first that I was only going to spend 6,200 6, plus the massages, which maybe total... I thought I was going to spend a total of maybe $7,000, but no, no, not, not at all, ever. If you're going to get a BBL, make sure you add $3,000 to those charges because it will happen. How long did it take you to save money for it? Now, I, I didn't have to save money for it. I already had the money from my OnlyFans account. So thank you to all my OnlyFans fans um yeah did it yeah did me <laughs> but yeah um my my bbl came from my only fans so that money was already there the way i came up with this whole bbl thing is just i've been wanting it for a while like i said since high school and just last year was i don't know how i came up with it but I woke up one day and I was like, you know, fuck this. I'm going to make my appointment today and get this shit over with. I got the money. I'm going to do it. And it happened. How much are the massages? Uh, like I said, they were about $80. They range because you have to get drainage massages and you have to get cavitation, radio frequency massages. It's, it's a whole bunch of stuff. You got to get it. Please research because it's not going to just be the surgery that you're paying for. Why didn't you put that money down for a house? You looked fine before. I didn't want to buy a house. I wanted to get my body done. That's why. Now, if I wanted to buy a house, I could buy it. There is no issue. I still have the money for a, a down payment for a house. I just don't want a house. I'm not ready for a house. I'm not ready to be taking care of a house. I'm not ready for all that. Uh, it's just too much. I'm not ready for it. I, I don't want to deal with getting walls done, my porch, my garage, dealing with snow removal. It's too much work. Um, I Honestly, I love my apartment. I feel better living in an apartment because I get scared at night. I like a small space. So, yeah, I don't want a house. Not yet. <laughs> did you tell your parents? If you did, were they supportive? So, I didn't tell my parents. Lying. I did tell, I did tell my dad. Two days before my surgery. So, I didn't want to tell my parents because... Come here, baby. So, I didn't want to tell my parents. I didn't want to tell my mom because I didn't want her to go and tell my aunts. I 
honestly didn't want anybody knowing i just wanted my friends to know i believe like i said a lot in energy and evil eye and all of that stuff that i didn't want bad energy coming my way a bbl is nothing to play with you're putting your life at risk and that's something that i wanted to keep to myself until you know surgery was done and i was better but i did uh after i really thought about it i remembered how this girl died and how many other girls have died because of getting a bbl surgery and i wanted i called my dad and i told him and honestly he started laughing he couldn't believe it but he was very supportive like i was so so shocked because my dad um He's very, he's, he's, he's more on the strict side. How much fat did they inject into you? So I got 1,500 cc's into each cheek. So I got 3,000 cc's for on my ass right now sitting on my butt on my ass sitting on my butt so yes how much fat did they inject into you 1500 cc's on each cheek what is the worst part of the surgery so the worst part of the surgery one is the first day because when you wake up and you get up all that fluid is coming down you're gonna see it going down your legs going down your socks into your slippers on the floor and it looks like pure blood. Disgusting. Um, another part. My incisions were closing very fast. So my incisions were closing. They, were, they started to close around day four. So my massage lady had to open my front one. So she had to stick a uh, cotton swab into my incisions so that the liquid could come out because it had closed let me tell you that liquid came out like that like it just squirted out it was disgusting those are all the questions i forgot to say my recovery home the recovery home i went to i went to lolly's recovery home lolly took great care of me i would 100% recommend her if you are staying in Miami. If you are staying in Miami and you are going to Lolly's, tell her that I sent you. She'll take great care of you. She, I honestly, I called her like my second mom because she was just so nice. She treated me so well. I loved everything about it. The food, everything. It, it was really good. Um, And I do want to say... If you are thinking of getting a BBL, please do your research. <clears throat> Look on Google. Look on realself.com. Make sure your doctor is board certified. Check their Instagram out. Check girls that have done surgeries with them and reach out to them. Ask them how it went, what they regret, what they should have done. Like, just go out of your way. For me to choose my doctor, for me to choose this journey in general, took me four months. For me to choose my doctor, it took me four months. Four months before July, I was looking at the different doctors because they have like eight different doctors at me aesthetics. And the doctor that spoke to me was Dr. Gray. And like I said, I'm so glad that I chose him. Uh, don't go to anyone just because of their price. Don't go to anyone just because their price is low. If you go to somebody that's telling you that a BBL is $3,000 and it's here in the United States, you got to do a lot of research because that's crazy. That's, that's very cheap to stay in the United States. I was supposed to go to the Dominican Republic, but I honestly wanted to stay in the States. I just wanted to be closer to home. If anything happened, I didn't want to be dealing with any family members coming to see me over there. I didn't want to deal with any bad stuff. Thank you guys for watching my video. I'm really 
happy to be sharing my journey with you guys. I know I've had a lot of girls hit me up and let me know that they want to get a BBL and they've just been so scared. Listen, you just really got to think about it. Get it together. Take care of yourself. Be healthy. And get it done. My next video will be my fourth month update. And that's when my skin is settled into my muscle and I start feeling a lot better. My butt is more softer. So tune into that. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and we'll have more content regarding my BBL. Bye.